totally didn't tell him to say that in the chat before the game, Jason. Not whatsoever, not once, not a single time. I wasn't honestly. looking at chat. So here we go, <laughs> CLG versus CJ Enter. CLG fighting for survival here in Group B. And to my knowledge, the first time that we've really seen Zed in a big tournament as well, Jason. Yeah, and if he rain jungle, which we can, that which we're interested. But Insect, I mean, like they were saying in the uh, expert desk, He's one of the best junglers in Korea, and he's yeah. going to show how well he plays with that. His ganks, I mean, ideally wouldn't be too bad since he does have that W to switch places, but as Arne was saying, he didn't really have too much success with them. Well, currently CJ are in the CLG uh, jungle down on the bottom side. I'm going to say a lot of CLJ. I'm, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to say that right now because it's going to throw me off a little bit, that's for sure. Uh, they put their ward down down there and also the uh, trap coming out of Caitlyn in that curve bush as well but for now looking like they're just going to settle back starting off here with Zed on that blue buff over on the other side you can see the bottom lane of CLG already headed down there to get that golem start looks on Froggen in the middle there and it looks like they're going to have a pretty standard wolves into blue buff start and Joe we were talking a little bit uh, during the extra desk and we were mentioning how CLG, their composition, I mean, they have a, a comp that will erase someone if they hit him with all the abilities. Um, and for CJ Antis, they have a really, I mean, they have Jax and they have Zed on top of that. You have Twisted Fate who can really uh, make impacts on lanes, but who do you really have to win this game? It's hard to call CLG. You know, they were dominated by Meet Your Makers. There's no real other way to say <laughs> that, in my opinion. Yeah, there's no PC um, way to say it. Without risk of being lynched here in the studios with the uh, mass amount of CLG fans that we have. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, you know, the most important game up until now from them, obviously, because if they lose this one, they are pretty much guaranteed, or they are guaranteed to go out. They can't then get those two wins back that CJ and Meet Your Makers would have under their belts from that oh. one. Insect, sorry, I, looking at him, he's actually knowing that word was there, running around the other side, yeah. just sneak into that red buff. This could be really deadly for Wicked, where they, I mean, we said in the last game, they get they camp him. Anyone camps Wicked, they kill him a couple times, and it sets him really far behind, but that is such a great play out of him, and it's just showing why he's an amazing jungler. And also interested to see Yellow P. As uh, RNA said that is a very highly pay played champion by Yellow P. He certainly yeah. knows how to play Varus. So it'll uh, be interesting to see how that bottom lane goes. And um, we are now seeing Zed coming in here. Let's see if he can manage to get in on towards Wicked. I'm going to keep him up in the bottom left there so you can see what he's skilling. Because I'm sure a lot of people are still really interested to see what Insect is going to spec like here on Zed. But Wicked may have some trouble as we are going to see Jax go in the camp tank, not going off. But Insect going in, he's got the slowdown from that red buff. Can they finish it off? The ignite is burning. And Wicked goes down, first kill for Jax. And we, I, I said this in the last game when uh, Vayne got the first kill, like these hyper carries, you want to limit them in what they can pick up in this early and mid game to slow their late game dominance down. And giving first blood over to Jax is going to mean a horrible, horrible time in the top lane for Wicked on Rumble. Uh, but again, that whole strategy, get in, Get Wicked out of the game. It's worked already timelessly. Uh, timelessly? Time and time again for <laughs> other teams against CLG. Will it continue to work here for CJ Enters? Well, you know, uh, Arne was saying that Jack's very safe pick for this top lane. And like you are saying, Piper Carry, if he gets some kills, he's going to be dominating that lane. And Wicked, I mean, I have to feel bad for him because every game I ever see of him play, he gets camped nonstop. Um, as we're seeing the bot lane, Crepo, I mean, down to half health. And like you also mentioned, Yellow Pete playing a lot of Varus, and uh, even RNA mentioned to me the other day that we should see that. Gonna eat a trap there just to make sure if he runs away, he'll be safe. But uh, over, actually in the, uh, well, not the Korean meta, but over uh, in Korea, I remember hearing that a lot of Kate Nunes being played. Uh, I believe Notch and Sword was the first one to do it. And with that, they just pushed towers extremely quickly. <laughs> Though CJ just going for something a little bit different here. And yeah, look at that. Insect camping that top lane. Yeah, Wicked again going very low, and he's going to be forced to go straight home without picking up a single minion on his return back into that. And it really wouldn't surprise me to see Insect come back once again once he realizes the Wicked is back into this lane. I mean, he's got himself a ward now, which he'll probably be scared of even putting down uh, with the way that he's <laughs> been camped here by Insect on Zed. Um, but so far, this bottom lane... Like you said, bit of damage being exchanged. A couple of roots coming out from Crepo. I've uh, seen the snowballs and you know that range from Caitlyn really being the uh, the biggest problem on towards Crepo up until now. Uh, but the CS there, 33 to 26, early game lead for Caitlyn. Hey, Caitlyn is that quite strong champion at the uh, at the early levels as well. And Yellow Pete actually leveled up his Hail of Arrows, his E, because of Caitlyn having so much range. Yeah. He needs some sort of uh, harass, some sort of form of that. And by leveling up, he's able to do that. And he finally did take one point in Q. And uh, Joe, as we were mentioning, you know, taking a look at Zed and what he's leveling up, we should probably take a look at his items too, because he went with Bootsmith, but it's his first item. And look where he is again. 
Going straight into this top lane, and guess what? Look at no it's flash. It's not warded, and he's not got a flash, and he's going to walk in there. Here comes the counter strike. Actually, he's not timed perfectly there, but they're going to get on top of Wicked nonetheless. There's the slow from Insect E, which he is actually leveling up first here. Can't quite get the finisher, though. But talking about finishers, do they really need a finisher? Wicked's out of lane. He got two CS this time around. <laughs> That's quite a bit for him. No, but still, like, they're camping him so hard. Long Panda, I mean, that was a kill, and yet they kind of messed it up a little bit there, the Counter-Strike not landing. But now, I mean, how do you go against a Jax period as Rumble, and then a Jax who has one kill, and has a huge level advantage over you? He's going to be level 5 very shortly. Wicked, has, he's, he's been back four times this game. One of them is uh, because of a death, having such a hard time right there. Picking up another ward, because he needs uh, ward that uh, river, but, or the river, like you were saying before, it wasn't warded when Insect came in. And they are keeping a, a really good eye on that, as you do see that ward in the top lane. Yeah, and Wicked got another ward now. <laughs> Needs to kind of put it down somewhere in River because Zed has just been coming up there, not through the tri-bush uh, that they have warded for up until now, but through the other side. Uh, Snoopy not really been too active yep. in this top lane. Uh, I think it's more about, uh, from Wicked's side of things, then telling him, play safe, don't get caught out, um, and you will be all right in this top lane. But it's 38 to 10 CS, as if that first blood on Jax wasn't enough. He is massively winning the farm race um, in this top lane so far. But Lane. Caitlyn did come back in with a Vamp Scepter and a Doran's Blade. Varus, Doran's Blade and upgrading to those Berserker Greaves. Obviously wants to get those uh, points of light out as quickly as he possibly can if they get in towards a fight. Uh, but either way, a pretty quiet stage of this one. The junglers went back in for a little bit more farm. Uh, but really, I think Snoopy has to get a bit more involved here with Malphite. We are going to see the Twisted Fate ulti coming into this top lane. And guess what? It was on Wicked again, who's having a horrible time. Uh, if you thought Demon was a bully in the, uh, on the expert <laughs> desk, well, they're pretty much camping out Wicked like nothing that we've seen for uh, quite a long time. And uh, that's funny because someone said actually on Reddit, I read about it, I hope Long Panda doesn't get bullied in this top lane again. Well, it's kind of working the opposite way around this time. In the uh, middle lane, Ensek is taking a lot of damage here from Froggen, who doesn't have that final spark up and available. I still want to call it by its old name because... Pickleton's something? Finalis Funkeln. Yeah. Which means final spark in German. Oh, there you go. I still want to call it that. <laughs> Especially since we're in Germany, I think I'm well within my rights. Yeah, that's true. Um, but Snoopy, hey, you're completely right with what he needs to do. He needs to start ganking a little bit more. He needs to get involved. But he will be six very shortly. When that happens, when his uh, bot lane is level six on top of that, Yellow Pete and Zyra, or sorry, Yellow Pete and Crepo, that is going to be such an easy lane to gank for them. Uh, we do have cleanse on space, but it won't really be enough as uh, Kinch has Flash, has Exhaust, with that Malphite ultimate, it's just, it's so devastating against your team. Yeah, and that's probably the whole reason why uh, Snoopy has been spending so much time in the jungle, yeah. is just to get as quickly as he can in towards that unstoppable force, and then get involved in and around the map, as we are going to see him possibly coming in for Twisted Fate. No, he's going to go straight into the opposite side of the jungle. Sees that the Big, ra big Wraith is there. Oh, he's he going to take it. it out. He's just going to wait there. Probably waiting for Twisted Fate to make a bit of a step to one side. And there we go. Unstoppable Force comes oh, down the wow. leash. And there is the ultimate coming out. Can they finish him off? Ignite is burning here. And Daddy will go down. It's Lux that picks up the kill. The crowd here going a little bit wild with it as well. Like I said, a lot of CLG EU fans here uh, today in the studio in Cologne. Uh, and that will bring us back to 2-1. But Froggen picking up a kill could become vital for them later on. Yeah, in the meantime, Top and Long Panda just pushed Wicked out of lane again a little bit, forcing his flash um, to be used. And his flash, I don't think it's been up for longer than 10 seconds, except in the beginning of the game for him. But uh, we do have Twisted Fate. His ultimate could be up very shortly, so we, we could see another gank in the top lane. As you do see Zed just holding it right there, and his build going towards, it looks like a Brutalizer or potentially a Phage. Not really sure which one he, he will end up going for, but they have a you know really heavy assassin team, not really tanky. So with what CLG has on their side, you know, being able to erase someone off the enemy team, they could easily win these team fights, uh, no matter how far behind Wicked is. Yeah, but if he's fed jacked up, <laughs> that, that's a real problem. Depending who the kills end up going for, even if he gets camped out and killed over and over again. Uh, we are actually seeing their uh, Twisted Fate moving towards this top side of the map. They do have a ward down here, so they've seen that he's moving over towards oh, wow, that range. Zed. There's a lot of pings coming in. Zed is coming down. Here comes Twisted Fate as well. He'd actually pulled the red card, which won't even matter in the slightest. There is kill number two for Jax. And kill number three overall for CJ enters. Perfectly executed, not missing a beat. Um, and Wicked was in you know, a hard position there because he saw that Twisted Fate was here moving in range to use that ultimate and get up to him. 
but he started to move back and then you've already got Zed coming around the backhand side of him as well so just not a lot that he could really do there to stop that happening Wicked and he's he's almost <laughs> out of this game now you know when he saw that TF ultimate he's like oh come on as he can <laughs> die there and eventually yeah but the thing is his ultimate is really where it, where it's key if he gets that slow down onto as many members as possible CJ Entis, then you have Varus you have Zyra and you have Malphite and Lux on top of that like they will have the damage as we did see uh, you know Fragon pick up a kill so if anything they still are easily in the game. He has an ECLR draw with that Chalice. We just Snoopy sitting around this middle lane again. Ultimate just came back up. to a fake, currently no flash, and this could be another kill in the middle lane. And yeah, here it goes, Joe. Yeah, we are going to see that binding line, and there we go. Ultimate coming out from Froggen, and there's a kill. Answer that it. Froggen and Snoopy setting that one up brilliantly. And that's the thing, if you don't see that one coming, You've not got much of a chance to escape from it, let's be honest. As we are seeing that yellow P and space just going back and forth with the damage. CS down there, 89 to 94. Uh, obviously switching up as they are still uh, in that farming uh, stage. So, you know, pretty even down this bottom lane. No kills, no deaths, no assists for any of them down there. So it's going to come a little bit later on. But Yellow Pete starting to do a good chunk of damage now. Yeah, and that's what, I mean, if they can win this bottom lane, they'll have their mid and bottom, uh, you know, fed. We talked to RNA, actually, the first day we were here, and he was saying, you know, the AD carry is probably the easiest champion to carry in solo queue, just because of how much damage you can do. And as long as your team can protect you, it'll work out very well. And Yellow Pete, he's doing pretty well. He's, I mean, considering Caitlyn's range, he's keeping up in this CS, has those double Doran's Blades and that Vamp Scepter. And uh, with Crepo, they easily could go for kills if Stupid wants to visit it, though. He's been sitting around this middle lane, trying to get Frog in just a little bit fed, since he is very bursty, doesn't have a lot of sustained damage. They're going to need him pretty fed. You know, the bad thing is for uh, for Twisted Fate in the middle is that the ultimate of Lux pretty much comes up in the time that he dies, respawns, and comes back <laughs> to lane. So yeah, Frog can just constantly do that to him. We do have an Oracle now with Snoopy, which is only going to help him get involved across oh, that insect. map even more. Showing his matches that he actually hopped over that wall, not being spotted by a ward. Trying to go in for a gank on middle, it looks like. And Snoopy oh. will catch him. Yeah, Snoopy going to spot him there. Pings his position down and Insect decided can't really get anything from this one. So, Daddy, you're going to have to uh, deal with that uh, frog and looks for a little bit longer oh, look in at this look game. Good. Rumble is coming down. Yeah, because he can't do anything can. on top lane. They're like, well, let's do Dragon. Let's try and uh, claw some of this gold bite that we've been losing um, through the pretty much entire game. I mean, it's what, 1,500 gold difference now in favor of CJ Enters. Three of them waiting here on top of a water with Wicked missing. They obviously know that something's probably going to go down around that Dragon area. Snoopy's got unstoppable force up. In fact, ultimates are pretty much across the board up except Wicked. Um, so they could go for this one and get that Dragon or they could do a five mine dive onto that bottom lane, or they could steal away the blue buff. Or they could do both. I mean, there's no point in leaving that top tower up anymore for Wicked. He just doesn't have the ability to farm it anymore. So if they do take that turret, he can at least freeze a lane and get some sort of farm back. But yep, you're very right. They are going for Dragon off of this. And that will get Wicked a little bit back into the game. I'm surprised to note, I just not see any GP10 on him with how far he is behind. Because we all, we all know how strong GP10 can be um, when you are you losing your lane. Can you any GP10? <laughs> can you afford it? I mean... Not at the moment. <laughs> I mean, look at his CS. Or look at his lack of CS, which is obviously more uh, important to this whole thing. 9,900 CS to 40 there. Um, and this tower is going to go down. They're going to try and counter that one with taking this bottom tower. Obviously, that dragon has given them a lead now in the gold, but they've lost that top turret. And CJ is not really reacting too much to this one, but obviously they do have Twisted Fate, who can come around whenever he wants to. Zed was just waiting off in the wings there to uh, maybe track Frog and going towards Wolves or whatever for that extra farm. But CLG can't quite get in and take down this bottom out turret. In the meantime, Long Panda is just hammering away on these creeps. He's now level 10 to the level 8 of Wicked. He has got a Phage and probably about 2,000 or 1,500 gold to spend now uh, the next time that he does come back. And Wicked has, after all that, finally come back into the lane with a Ruby Crystal. Like, that's just how far he is behind. We talked about <laughs> the GP10. I think he wants to go GP10. No, he's got running, guys. He's going for that penetration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he needs gold at the end of the day. Yeah, he does. Um, but the thing is, with Long Panda, we saw Reaper doing this um, from SK Telecom, pushing that top lane over and over and over. And uh, in the end, he was able to actually carry his team because of all his amazing counter strikes. 
Just Snoopy going for Orsir. Actually going to be spotted. If he loses Oracle, it's going to be really bad for CLG. Oh, he's going to walk straight in there. There comes the counter strike down. He's going to unstoppable force away. But Twisted Fate not having any of it comes in. Here comes the ulti out of Proven. Actually managed to get the kill. Crepo coming in will knock them both up. But it's not going to be enough damage to take them out. Wow, flash away from Insect there. Didn't want to get involved. As Wicked did put his ultimate down. But CJ enters. A bit of a risky move. Daddy gonna pay for it with his life, but they've got rid of that Oracle on Snoopy, which could be a crucial thing in the coming minutes. Yeah, it really will. We do have Yelp in the bot lane actually getting pressured very heavily. That turret getting very low as we have the rest of CLG pushing that middle lane. And uh, yeah, the Oracle, it's gonna be so crucial. They need to deny a lot of vision, um, and Wicked just needs his, he needs that protection in that top lane. And unfortunately, not gonna be able to get it here as he does. Well, he lands one Harpoon, but doing no damage to Jax, and that, like we were saying before, is a huge problem. Oh, there's Insect just getting a little bit low. Froggen. Landed the binding on him at pretty much full range. Oh, he has ulti up. I would love to see him just snipe him at the moment. <laughs> well, he did that a lot of Dreamhack. Yeah. Played amazing Lux at Dreamhack, but they are pushing this turret. They actually should be able to get it. We do have Twisted Fate coming in. We'll be able to clear the wave pretty easily. Jax just scaring them away right there. Snoopy ultimate not up for another 50 seconds. Oh, Binding has landed. There comes the ultimate. How is he going to die? Yes, he is. And it's Wicked that picks up the kill thanks to the Ignite. And that's a much needed chunk of gold for Wicked, to be honest with you. Only problem is now he's worth more gold. So if he gets killed, just That's a downside true. to it, yeah. But they should be able to get this tower though, and it will help him get back into the game a little bit more. We have insect there, not really tanky with that brutalizer. I was almost expecting to engage there, but Snoopy ulti in 15 seconds. Dragon not gonna be up for a little bit longer. And I still like CLG's combo here. I yeah, mean, it's an amazing combo. Once you get everything, if everything falls into position. It's so much damage so quickly, and especially if that laser gets two or three people in it as well. Like, just so much damage that can come out of CLG if everything falls into place. On the other hand, if it doesn't fall into place, they could end up losing a fight pretty heavily. But they've taken this outer middle turret. That's actually uh, going to be their first of this game, a crucial turret to be taken as well. And the dragon is up at 19.40, so still two and a half minutes to go until that one is in play. See, more wards being put down here by CJ enters the pink one around the blue buff. And also here on this uh, bottom side of their jungle as well, just to keep that vision uh, as high as they possibly can. Let's have a look down the CS there. Top lane, as we said earlier on, going badly for Wicked. <laughs> uh, 117 right to 56. Uh, in the jungle, 130 to 72. That's a big lead for Zed as well. Middle lane, though, Froggen winning that one out. 178 to 136. 80 carries, bang even. 148, 147. Well, the difference between the junglers is, I mean, yeah, we will see Zed with a lot more CS because that's how he has to do it. He's a DPS jungler. But Snoopy's a support. He realized on his GP10, if you look at total gold, he's sitting at 4,600 to the 50. 500 of Zed at the moment, so not really that far behind. But uh, if anyone, if anyone can pull off their ultimate combos correctly, it's going to be CLG. Oh, here we go! In. They're going to go in there. Twisted Fate going to dive. There is a Zyra ultimate though, but it doesn't really make that much difference. Froggen going to be shut down, absolutely exploded by that CJ push. And we talk about how Twisted Fate, his ultimate, obviously most useful in that laning phase, getting around there, snowballing your other lanes. But we're seeing him utilizing it here. At this stage of the game, where they're fighting five on five to do some really, really great play, uh, which is going to be key, uh, you know, moving in where there's no Zyra ultimate for number one, or as we saw in yesterday's play, being low enough where Zyra can just put a plant on your head and take you down. I think that video is uh, doing the rounds on Reddit yeah. right now from yesterday. Uh, but that leaves us with 5 4. CJ got the kill advantage, 2,000 there or thereabouts, gold lead. But this is definitely not a game that you can call right now. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're 19 minutes in with how how much CS Jax has. Uh, CLG is no way out of this. We had Frog in the mid lane, 183 to the 146 on Dada. And that right there just shows that they easily have a chance. We have the bot lane being pushed here. Yellow Pete should be able to take that turret and uh, make that goal lead a little bit quicker. And you know what's funny? Both teams have gotten the other team's jungle more than they've gotten their own. Or sorry, the blue buff than their own. CLG all spotted here by that pink ward that was put down earlier by CJ. Oh, Jax is heading down. Uh, Jax coming down for that one. Dragon going to be up in around about 10 seconds time. So CJ not wanting to give this one away. They've got a ward down there in position. And they are going to ping it. There is Baron coming back into the game. Jax here has been spotted in middle. But CJ putting a pink ward down. That's going to uh, reveal that CLG actually have no vision of that Baron Pit itself, and are they gonna try and sandwich them in here? 
Doesn't quite look like they'll be able to manage that one off. There goes the ultimate out of Caitlyn. Oh, nice shield out of Froggen right there. Pretty yeah. much nullified all damage on top of his. And we do have Cripple's ultimate finally back up, so we could see the major engage that we've been waiting for, Joe. And CLG easily could take this with their combination. Dane's ultimate is going to be coming up here in just a second. Dragon already down to half of its oh, HP. As we is. are seeing Long Panda coming in. Snoopy looking for an opportunity to get off that unstoppable force, but they're coming in. Insect is behind them. Insect is going to be doing a lot of damage here. He will get knocked up by Zyra. Here comes the laser oh. over. Gets one kill. They've not quite finished off the second. Wiki going to be chased down here by Space, but they need to be careful. They're still coming around. Frozen picking himself up a double kill. There's the root landing onto Space. He is finished off by Yellow Peak and CLG will take a 3 for 1 encounter. Great play out of them. I feel like a profit a little bit there, Joe, but that was amazing play out of Snoopy. If you notice, he did he, he waited on his ultimate. He didn't want to yeah. rush it, and because of that, they caught Insect in the back, they caught Jax in the back, got a double knockup uh, combo with Crepo, and uh, well, as you saw right there, 1 for 3. They're going to take that any day, and they are easily uh, and very well now back in the game. Frog and doing amazing work. 5-1-2, 204 CS, has that death cap. And is working towards that. I think it's in Holy Grail very shortly. And unfortunately for CJ Entis, I mean, Snoopy alone just shut down that whole assassination they were trying to pull on uh, well, Yellow Pete on a Crepo. Oh! Ooh. Almost gets him. <laughs> <laughs> was that blind? Yeah. I was going to say, how did he even know he was there? That's why he's a good luck show. <laughs> I mean, he killed, the, he killed the last minion like here. So I guess Frog was just like, well, he probably just went straight into the bush there. So why not have a try? Uh, did actually land it on him. But unfortunately for him and unfortunately for us, didn't quite land that kill. But great blind shot coming out. Uh, but it's a thousand gold still in advantage of CJ Enters. Turrets also in their favor as well. Jack's already got that Trinity Force finished. Those Zed Bloodthirst to brutalize on those boots of mobility. Twisted Fate got the sheen in, and the Abyssal Scepter is already done. This is a problem that we're seeing, is that CG Antis had camped Wicked, yeah, but Froggen, look at him now, 5-1-2, yeah. they didn't really gank him at all. Um, he ended up getting wards eventually just to stop down or stop the Zed from doing it, but yeah, you can gank Wicked all day, and most teams do that, but you still leave Froggen open, you still leave Yellow Pete open at the bot lane, and those lanes can easily carry the game, um, even if the top lane dies. Yeah, and I think, I mean, CLG are used to having Wicked camped out of games, yeah. that's for sure, so. You know, I guess from Wicked's point of view, it's like, well, if they're coming for me the entire time, not coming then for my team. they're not coming for the for their AD carry or for Lux in the middle there. So I'm sure they, they're still quite happy about that, even though he is a mile behind on CS. The danger there is that Jax is obviously the one that really bene uh, benefited from all that um, and has got that uh, uh, Trinity Force already finished there and is already building his way up towards that uh, that Guardian Angel as well. Yeah, but we saw Frog, you know, even with how tanky Jax is, just naturally with his uh, passive, he almost pretty much one burst him down. I mean, obviously not exactly all the way, but got him very close. And uh, well, obviously Counter Strike's not going to help you too much against, ma uh, against magic damage. And Yellow P actually has started to build a nice CS lead here as well, with that turret being down. And has got himself up to 208 compared to the 177 of Caitlyn. Zed here still farming, farming away in that middle lane wherever he can really pick anything up. He's quite content to. Yellow Pete has just gone home. Going to be almost finishing off that Phantom Dancer now as well. Obviously, uh, had the Bloodthirster from earlier. Caitlyn got the Infinity Edge, got the Zeal up towards that Phantom Dancer. And this next fight, going to be a big one. Dragon at 26 minutes. So uh, about two and a half minutes from now. We'll probably be seeing another play down there. That's where most of the action's really been at up until now. Beside, obviously, that top lane. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask you, I mean, if you're CLG right now, they are currently behind in gold. I mean, they're winning these team fights, though. What do you want to do right now? Like, what's the end goal? Obviously, Baron, not really going to try to go for that. Um, they want to force team fights. They don't want to make sure they don't make a mistake and, you know, maybe do a, a turret die that ends up going very badly for them. Well, they've got one of those comps where they can catch people out. Like, yeah. Yeah. you get the root from Zyra, you get the binding from Lux, uh, you get Varus, who maybe even would use his ultimate if he needs to uh, hold someone in position. And then you've got Snoopy, who you know, can always come flying out of this bush, that bush, pretty much every bush with an unstoppable force um, to really throw your teamwork into plan, uh, into uh, throw a spanner in the works. And as we oh. just see there, space, binding. Plus the E coming out. Oh, there is a laser. Oh, he's netted away from it there, Space. That was very, very close stuff. Frogan almost sniping another one down there. 
He has been definitely on form with that one. I think I peed myself a little bit on that one, Joe. <laughs> Not as much so as uh, Space did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Poor guy. Uh, we do have Kripa, though, and he's uh, building into the standard Zara, uh, Zara build with that uh, Nisolar Drag going into his zone edge right after that. Because Zara surprisingly does a lot of damage with those plants. It looks like they might even be trying to set up for a potential burn or just uh, you know spot it with um, that plant so they have no wards at the moment. We do see Yelpeet finish up that Phantom Dancer. It's going to make him that much more stronger, especially with the Blight Sacks like we were talking. You know, he wants that extra attack speed just so he can proc that as much as possible. But CLG, I mean, still looking very good. We have Wicked, he's catching up a little bit, I guess. I mean, he's not falling much farther behind. He still is keeping up and does have that, uh, well, does have that chain best done. And curious to see if he's going to go for Abyssal Scepter or actually go for a GA because he needs to get tanky with how far he was set back. Well, we see uh, Zed off towards the side, trying to put a bit of damage out with the Shuriken. But still, CLG looking for a way to get in here underneath this turret. I mean, they've got a decent comp to push them out with that Varus Q and the E, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> and with Lux as well, who can throw a lot of damage their way while they try and hold on towards these turrets. Well, let's see how this one goes. Bit of damage he done. Root actually lands there onto Jax. Not quite having the uh, binding coming out in time there from Froggen, though. The rain against time, though, because Jax, I mean, he always has his GA done. He has three pieces of it, just needs that little bit of extra gold for it. And when he gets that, I mean, it's really hard for CLG to lock him down, but face taking this turret right now, trying to get as much damage as possible. Snoopy, Sunfire Cape, not really going to care too much about that turret hits. And they should be able to get it on this next wave if they want to commit to it. Yep, next wave coming in then. There are a couple of traps down there that they need to avoid from Caitlyn, but. They've successfully managed to get in there. Leveling is up now with turrets. There's still a thousand gold behind. 2645 in there. Dragon is available as Wicked getting a little bit caught out there, but they've got no vision of CLG. That was the uh, real problem there. So they didn't know if they were just going to get jumped on. You can see CLG oh, here waiting. It. They are going to push around. That middle turret was uh, trying to be taken. Kinch takes the shard from Snoopy, but where is the engagement coming in? CJ enters. Not bunching up. That's the real crucial thing against this team comp that CLG have got going. Don't bunch up, because we are going to see Long Panda going in there. Varus Ultimate actually didn't connect, which is bad news for CLG. There's the Unstoppable Force. There's the Zyre Ultimate. He knocks two of them up. Will it be enough damage coming out of CLG here, though? Froggen is going to take out Nunu. Can they get any more? The laser not connecting. And, well, Twist of Fate, I didn't even notice him here. Off towards the side, he's gonna pick up Zyra, Jeez. but that will give a double kill over. And now maybe they'll even get more space going very low to the Q of Yellow Peak. Well, that will be a one for two, and CLG, like you said, winning these team fights. Yeah, and that's all because of Snoop. He's being so perfect with these ultimates. Just like we saw a little bit earlier on, uh, on uh, Sona, he's just waiting for the right moment, hit the exact perfect targets. Unfortunately, the Zyra ultimate didn't follow up at the right time, but still, he got the attack speed slow on Long Panda, got it on space. And, uh, I mean, that's why they won that fight single-handedly. Not to mention Frog and picking up a double kill could have helped a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 7-1-2 is now with Lux. And after that, Dragon sat on almost 2,000 gold to go home and spend. Phantom Dancer finished for Yellow Pete as well. And Snoopy and Wicked also going to go home with over 1,000 gold each. Is that Dragon really out? There's the uh, Needlessly Large Rod coming out of Rumble. 39 and a half to 39.3 thousand gold. So now CLG finally have taken the lead in the gold itself. And yeah, we see a Guardian game. Angel on Frog. And that's uh, even worse news with an Oracle coming in as well for Snoopy. Are they thinking about Baron? I don't know. I mean, I was just thinking about the G on Frog and it's, it's not a bad item, obviously, because it gets you back up in the fight. But he's not in a, been in a position to get caught this entire game. Uh, maybe a little bit of extra damage would save, you know, Yellow Peep from getting caught. You see the, the Lux ulti going right there. But Baron, I mean, when they have their ultis up, we're still waiting on Kreppos at the moment. Froggen's obviously just using Snoopy coming off cooldown right now. They are a little bit scared, though. If they group up against Long Panda, if he comes in with that Counter Strike and lands it on all five members of CLG, they shouldn't be able to really win that fight as long as, you know, space uh, stays separated away so he doesn't get hit with that Malphite ultimate. But Zed, I mean, I want to look at his uh, abilities. He does have five points in his W and his E. He has that Bloodthirster and Brutalizer. He has a Negatron Cloak and a Chain Vest. He's kind of building in each direction because he needs to be able to survive against his teams because they want to run a heavy assassin kind of combination, but they are getting shut down here. Yep, and now Jax might have a bit of trouble in the middle. Snoopy waiting in the wings, does have unstoppable force back available. He's so patient. Yeah, and that's what you've got to be in. You saw in that last fight, it was a case of tanking the damage until they felt 
that yeah. they were in the right position for the Zyra ultimate and for the Malphi ultimate to both come out in the correct position to be winning them a fight. So CLG have to be strong enough, in my opinion, uh, to be tanking through that. And that's maybe why Froggen also going up towards that GA, just so that if they do end up coming into focusing, but the team oh, uh, they they aren't in it. a right position, then they may go for it. There is the uh, Oracle, like I said, on Snoopy. They're going to take the ward out of Baron Pit. And are they going to set up for something now? They saw Zed back in, uh, you saw that ping right there. Oh. They catch one panda. Yeah, Binding coming in. Zyra, oh, uh, sorry, Virus Ultimate came onto him as well. Can they get him to finish off? Snoopy is working his way around. Will get slowed though. Which is going to stop them going in there for that unstoppable force. Actually, uh, Caitlyn Ultimate thrown out. Crepo being a good guy, trying to stop that one. Twisted oh. Fade though is coming in. Here we go. We're going to see kick off. Ultimate comes out of Rumble. Where is the unstoppable force already used? The Zyra Ultimate will knock them off. Crepo is surely going to die. Yes, he will. Snoopy burning from the Ignite will be saved by a shield from Froggen. And there actually is another binding coming in. The Q oh, from Varus as well. Three Going seconds. very, very close. Let's watch Froggen. See what he can do with the laser. There he goes. Oh, oh. And it's just a little bit off to the left of Daddy. And that will be a one for zero in favor of CJ Enters. A crazy, crazy game. Look at the kills. Nine to eight. Three, three in turrets. 42 and a half to 33. Uh, 43. Oh, God. 42 and a half <laughs> thousand goals to 43. Point three thousand gold. So so ridiculously close still in this one, and still it's all about who gets the positioning and who gets you know their ultimates generally off yeah. in the right place. That's why CJ just won in. They knew Snoopy's ultimate was down, which was the key factor in that. They used everything they could on the Long Panda who escaped with that leap strike, and they ended up. I mean, even though they got one kill, didn't take any deaths. You saw how low CJ just was because of that fight, and that is always a good sign for CLG knowing that without their full lineup um, being used in the correct order. They still can win these fights almost. No, no, currently does have an Oracle on. Just clearing out there by the back of the Baron Pit. We have a Guardian Angel now finished off with Jax, which is naturally going to make CJ that little bit less hesitant to let him jump in and get those fights underway. Twisted Fate ulti will be coming off cooldown here pretty soon, so wouldn't surprise me to see CJ really head off into a big fight. The point is they want to try and get Zed oh, no. around the back from this one as we are going to see them push it in. Zed actually off to the corner. There's the ultimate coming out blocked by Snoopy. Who, you know, it didn't really dent him as we are going to see Long Panda getting hit there by the root. But the Virus ultimate actually missing him as he lo uh, leap strikes away. And CLG now forced to back off somewhat. Is Twisted Fate going to get involved in this one? Another root landed on Jax. And back and forth. Tug of war, really, in this uh, middle lane with those minions. And Twisted Fate, in the meantime, is just farming, farming, farming. Even though he's farming, 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 he's still way behind Froggen at the moment. And I mean, his presence, he's trying to split push just to keep CLG from pushing down that mid lane. But uh, it's, well, surprisingly, it's working. CLG's been a little bit hesitant to engage on the four members of CJ and just knowing that he could teleport in. And if they don't kind of blow him up, which, <laughs> sorry, they have the ability to, even though he has that Zonia's. We see Space picking up a uh, Last Whisper, and he doesn't need to go for that Phantom Dancer right off the bat, since we see Nunu on his team giving that Blood Bowl and that attack yeah. speed. And that is going to make it really easy for him to take out Snoopy, who's obviously going to be diving in for him and wanting to uh, target him with that Ground Slam. So no Baron as of yet. 33 and a half minutes in. Don't forget, if you just joined the CLG, lost their first game to meet your makers. This is game number two. And also, if they lose this one, they will be definitely out of Intel Extreme Masters Cologne. And likewise, if CJ just wins, they'll be moving on. Yeah. yeah. Right, they'll be 2 0 as well in the group. So both teams fighting for survival, pretty much. <laughs> we do have an Oracle on Nunu, and as well one on Snoopy still. Lilith going to be spawning in a second. And we also have Dragon coming up very shortly, too, Joe. Do you Look think we're going to see a play on? Yeah. They really want this game. And do you think we're going to see another dragon, or do you think we're, they're going to ignore it and potentially try to uh, contest this Baron? Well, to be honest, the gold is that close still. When you're talking about approaching 50,000 gold, I mean, 1,400 is definitely not that much gold right, right. whatsoever. Um, so a dragon is certainly uh, going to be important in this one, as we've seen GA number three on the, uh, on the map coming out, and that is with Varus for Yellow Pete. And dragon is up. 
And, well, they'll take it really quickly at this point, which makes it even uh, even more important, in my opinion, to be taken down because it's just a case of getting in there, taking it away, and then moving on to make sure that you've uh, still got control over by Baron. Meanwhile, Don't Twisted know. Fate is still down there, and that's the thing. If you go for Baron now, Twisted Fate can't get in there that fast because he can't ult it that far. And one thing is he stayed, he was staying hidden in that bush just to see where CLG was, and now he sees him in that mid lane, gonna go for a push on the spot lane. He's been trying to get at this turret the entire time, almost down right now, 180 health in the bottom lane, but CLG making a push on this mid turret, and I'm pretty sure they could take this if we don't see TF back out very shortly. Well, Twisted Fate has taken that one. Oh, he's pushing on. He's going for inhibitor turret now. Yeah, why not? CLG gonna try and do exactly the same here. As we have seen, Insect getting rooted up there. He's got that Guardian Angel on him as well. So these fights basically got 20 players in them also by now. <laughs> That's how many GAs we've got on the map. Here comes Jaxo, gonna counter strike in. Snoopy down to half HP. He's not actually used his ultimate yet. There was a Varus ulti not really connecting as they would have liked, but they may be able to pop that GA. No. Yeah, Twisted Fate coming from that backside. And they know that, that was going to happen. As soon as he disappears, he's either back in or going to come in. Actually, Rumble all to use that. And it's all about taking down this turret for CLG. Snoopy going to tank it up. And there is the inhibitor turret finally being picked up by Counter Logic Gaming EU. Question is now, what do they do? Do they go back towards Baron? There are not many wards there. In fact, CLG don't have any wards there. The problem being that they don't actually have any wards whatsoever in their arsenal right now. So they do need at some point to have a bit of a shopping trip back to get those wards because they've been cleared out completely by CJ Enters, which means they might have to just hang around and keep a view on this uh, barren area themselves. They have a, quite a bit of gold oh. to spend as well. Ulti coming out here. Actually, Jackson's going to get in there as well. Twist of Fate coming down. That is Yellow Pete's Guardian Angel. Going to be popped. Stunt card already comes up. He gets destroyed as he comes back up from that Guardian Angel. And now, what is CJ going to do? They're going to dive in on towards Snoopy. Counter Strike is going to land. Stunt card was already in. He uses that Guardian Angel to get over. The laser not quite connecting. Snoopy did die. I want to watch up this top side, see if they can get away because Sedi's coming in. Kinch taking a lot of damage. There's a counter strike, stunning Froggen, who will flash over the wall. Got hit by Caitlyn already, and Froggen also going to get popped as he comes back up. Shut down by Jax. And that leaves us with 10 to 11. 3,000 gold there or thereabouts. And still a crazy, crazy match between these two sides. And CJ now looking to push down the inner turret on this top lane. They've got minions coming in from the back. They could even tank it up, to be honest, if they wanted there with that Jax, with the Nunu and Zed as well. Well, that is going to be turret number five for the Korean side. And Joe, this is a very crucial point in the game. I mean, obviously it is, but we have death timers approaching and uh, surpassing 50 seconds. CJ, CJ is starting up uh, Baron right now. We don't have Froggen up to potentially still away. We do have Snoopy coming in, has that smite available. It is level 13 to the level 18 insect. There is no way he's going to be able to steal this. Oh, and there is the Baron being taken down. Crepo forced to flash away. Did land the route onto Jax, which, to be honest, saved his life because Jax would have been right in on top of him there as well. And that is Baron going over to CJ. So, bit of turtling time now for CLGU. They probably know that they can't be affording to take these fights. They've got plenty of gold to get home and spend over 2,000 there on Jax. There's a pickaxe being picked up by Zed. Load of wards as well from the CJ side. It's CLG though, turtling, that's, they know how to do that very well. They know how to do that, but... They don't have a Nivea, that's the thing. They yeah. have Lux though, I mean, they've got Lux easily. with the E, who's, you know, can do good damage in there. If you land the Binding plus the Lazy coming out as well, you can do a lot of damage in those situations, but... Can they do it? Can she do it like Anivia? I mean, yeah. And Dada yet again going down to this bot lane, gonna keep pushing it, applying all this pressure on CLG, trying to split push. And the bottom inhibitor turret, I mean, it's under half health right now. He easily could get this by himself as long as the rest of CJ Ensis doesn't get caught. Don't go down. But with those two GAs in hand right now, I'm pretty sure they can survive and engage with Twisted Fate finally coming in with his ulti. Yep. CJ starting to push, doing that good bit of chip damage. Wicked already losing quite a lot. There's the ultimate coming over, blocked again by Snoopy, which is pretty much just his shield. Jack's gonna get rooted and binded in there, but you can see they, normally, if the Jax gets rooted oh, and bound lane. down, they probably end up going for it in the end. Dade has managed to pick up that turret in the bottom lane. He's gonna come away. Varus was forced to try and back down for that one, but this is gonna give the inner turret away as well in favor of CJ. 
What's the next move out of the Korean side? There's a root coming down onto Kinshu. Uh, got that Zeke's Herald built in there, which if Caitlyn didn't have enough attack speed already from a Zeal and Blood Boil going in there, well, that's just helping out a bit more. And obviously <laughs> going to be moving up to a Phantom Dancer uh, for that Zeal at some point. There's the oh, Binding catch. coming down onto Kinch. Actually, the Root coming in as well. But not trying to follow it up with anything else. CJ Entis now want this first inhibitor of the game. Can they take it? Are we going to see an engage? Yes, here we go then. Little Panda is going to go in there. Zyra ulti is actually going to do good work. It was Zonya in the way. Snoopy actually going to use his ultimate to come in there. Twist of Fate goes down. CJ not super healthy in this one, but they're doing good damage nonetheless as Long Panda is going to go in there for Laser. Insect has his GA pop. Long Panda already had his Guardian Angel pop. Long Panda going to try and get away. There's a the Caitlyn ultimate, which does decent damage to Wicked. Long Panda not going to get away. Froggen gets that one. Can they chase out for any more here on towards Zed, Caitlyn, and Nunu. <laughs> wicked, what is that? That was a brilliant Zonya's Wicked that definitely saved something. I'm just not sure what it was at that point. Uh, as Insect here is being chased down by Snoopy. There's a laser from Froggen from the backside. And that will be another kill coming out for CLG. So as, as I was saying, this game, even though they just took Baron and got a good couple of kills, it's by no means over. CLG still have a good team to fight with at this point. And they're going to have a Dragon as well, which will bring that gold that bit more close. Now we have a GA picked up on space. I mean, they managed to pop both those GAs before. Uh, only killing TF um, on the side of that. Snoopy, perfect ultimate. Actually, uh, Krep was the one that led it with his uh, ulti and then followed it up with Malphite. So we have Frog pushing that middle lane. Gotta be a little careful here. Uh, he doesn't want to get caught by Space, who, I mean, that attack speed is ridiculous. He does so much damage, and with that Mafad ultimate and the uh, Crypt ulti, he almost actually killed him um, just from those two alone as he dropped it very low. But with that G, obviously, not going to have too much of a problem after that. But we do have, uh, for CLG, I mean, we have Froggen's G coming up. We have Yellow Peach G coming up. And Froggen's moving in towards a full build here. I mean, Void Staff, Athene's Unholy Grail, G8, Rabadon's Death Cap. Got that second needlessly large rod to uh, go in straight towards that Zonyas to keep him safe. We've got, let me count those GAs. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Five GAs. It's which like means a Sesame 15 Street man almost. fight. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of GAs on this match. Which means the team fight's gonna be definitely extended in terms of how long they're uh, gonna be taking place. Now CLG. Pushing back, that Baron buff is now already finished. Yeah, they're take coming advantage. up at 44.50. So with CLG pushing up here, that's a good position to be in once that Baron does spawn. Oh, Zed waiting off in the shadows, Jason, as Zed does. <laughs> Well, not to mention, Silji wants to take advantage of these GAs being down and having theirs up so they can force a fight here. They should be able to win it just with those extra two lives. As they are trying to catch Long Panda, but look how tanky he is. Has a giant spell, has a hex drinker just to help survive against this Lux. Kayla ultimately coming out, uh, doing a little bit of damage to Kreppel, but on the end, or in the end, not too much. And I mean, we could see an engage here, though. The bot lane for CLG is getting pushed against them as they have those super minions down there. Yeah, that's something that they need to be really careful of when they're pushing out. I mean, that's double super minions now coming right in on towards the Nexus Toys, and they know they've got to go back. CJ knowing that as well. And that leaves us uh, 1 minute and 50 seconds away from Baron. How long is it going to take for him to uh, actually get down there? Because at that point, CJ can just say, well, let's get positional advantage now for Baron and just wait it out from that point. And the super minions going to cause a distraction for CLG. In the end, not too dangerous to uh, what they've got left at this current point. But when they're forced to back away towards Baron, they certainly could start to be. Take a look at Insect CS, by the way. Approaching 300 as a jungler. He was 18 a long time ago when Snoopy was level 13. That just shows like, how much farming he's been doing. And the rest of their team, I mean, Jack's still ahead. Uh, we had Twitch of Fate with a, you know, well, with a big gap in the mid lane. But Caitlyn and Varus, I mean, pretty much dead even. So he's been definitely trying to keep up. He has that Bloodthirster, has that Last Whisper with the Brutalize on top of it. Obviously, this is Season 2 patch on Zed. Um, you know, it's before the rework, before or before percents happen, uh, before that flat. So, as he working and gets him a little bit, but we'll be able to into that Yumi's eventually, as he wants to get a little bit more tanky just to uh, survive these fights. You know, in the early games when we talk about kill distribution as well, uh, right now we'd be probably cursing the fact that out of the 13 kills for CLG, all uh, 10 of them are actually with Froggen. Uh, but the point is, with that far into it, that pretty much everyone is getting up towards that full build kind of area. I mean, look at Yellow Pete on Virus. He's got one kill, seven assists, got the Phantom Dancer, got the Last Whisper, got the GA, got the Bloodthirster. Like, 
at this point, it's only serving to make Froggen that ridiculously more powerful. I mean, next thing to come out of him is to sell his boots or something <laughs> uh, from that one. Get rid of Athenes and go for a second death cap or something ridiculous like that. Um, but, you know, it's all about this next Baron, in my opinion. CLG can't afford to give it away for free, but they can't afford to take a bad fight either. So it's going to be a really tense moment for them. 44.50, which is in two already, actually it's already gone, if I could actually learn to read a clock. Uh, and CJ enters are starting it out once again. And I'm not sure that CLG are gonna be able to get over there oh, to really do anything about it. Yeah, it's already oh, dead. Oh, there was a laser. Not quite, not quite on target. That was very, very close though. But in the end, CJ get the Baron. And now CLG have to turtle again. Yeah, the thing is, though, right now, I mean, their bottom inhibitor is going down to those two super minions. Whoever wins his next fight can pretty much win the game just because of these death timers. Yeah. They can be able to push down that mid lane for CLG, take down that inhibitor, and then pretty much tank up the next turns as long as Snoopy's alive with that 316 armies currently running. And that's the thing, their team fights haven't been that bad here. And because of the death timers, if they manage to take three, four, uh, or obviously get an ace is even better. Uh, but if they manage to pull that off here, they can literally run up the middle. It's not like they've not taken any towers up until right. now. Like the inhibitor is open, so they could run straight in there and go for the finisher. But this is going to be a hard fight. All of CLJ, uh, all of CJ enters <laughs> uh, full HP. Obviously that Baron buff running, there's a uh, blue buff in there on Twist fate as well they've got three guardian angels in the team Zed actually trying to come in from that top side maybe uh, even push a bit of those minions out which I don't know would CLG go for a four versus five if they see Var uh, Zed away from the team they should I mean last time they actually uh, last time CJ just had Baron they pushed on this bottom lane and CLG held it I mean lost an inhibitor but they actually won the fight and uh, Stupid can easily lead this uh, engage with his ultimate Zed can have a hard time getting around but Yellow Speed actually defending in that top lane GAs are up across the board and here we go, Long Panda actually did dive in there, but it's more to secure this one. Here comes the Rumble Ultimate, that is, is going to go very low. Actually uses his Zonias and flashes away, but the laser not quite connecting, and CLG might have blown their chances now with this one. Long Panda taking a lot of damage, his Guardian Angel won't get popped just yet, and that will be a 1 for 0. Snoopy out of the fight. I mean, his Malphite, once that ulti's gone down and he's, and he's uh, used his Randuins, then it's pretty much game anyway. I mean, to have that uh, Frozen Heart in there against Caitlyn would be a fantastic thing to have, but still, the main reason that he's there is to get that ultimate down to give them the control. How's this one gonna go from now? Here comes another laser! Long Panda gets his Guardian Angel pop. They can't follow up with anything. The Zed actually goes into the base as well. Yellow Peak going fairly low from this one, but CLG know that they can't afford, they need to stall until Snoop he comes out, they turn him on towards Insect. Can they finish him off? He gets rooted. His Guardian Angel not quite popped in the queue of Yellow Pete. Not going to connect in there to get that one off. Amazing, amazing stuff here. 15 seconds till Snoopy comes up. We're tied in kills. It's a decent gold lead. Oh, another snipe. And, well, didn't get the kill this time around, but definitely <laughs> worth it for the cooldown that it has there from Froggen. Um, but we are going to get into a slightly quieter period once again. CLG doing the job that they needed to do and holding on to as much of their base as they could. I mean, they've lost an inhibitor, uh, which I think is pretty fair to against a Baron up team that's got a gold yeah, advantage only an inhibitor it. off of that. And uh, Joe, I'm trying to think. Yellow Pete has missed every ultimate this game. Uh, there might have been one in there, but every one I see him do uh, at the moment has been a miss. And I really wonder how differently the team fights would go if he would actually have landed them. Oh, we do have Twisted uh, finishing up a Lich Bane. His zone has actually been amazing, if you've noticed, uh, off Dade. Sorry, yeah. quite a bit. The last one where he uh, used his zone and then flashed out yeah, the Zyra to miss up. the uh, Zyra ultimate. So, what do we have left on Baron? Not Silgy, very long. Silji was able to keep their GAs, uh, GAs alive, though. We still see Frog and still see Yelpi with theirs up. They were able to pop uh, Long Pandas, but we still see Caitlyn and we still see Zed with theirs uh, alive at the moment. It's still going to cause a lot of problems, but I mean, as long as Silji can defend this, I mean, they're getting free farm at the bottom lane, which should be going over to Wicked. He needs to catch up just a little bit more. He has a lot of damage, surprisingly, um, with that you know full penetration build. He isn't doing a, well, a, a very subtle amount. And, I mean, the point of this game, it's 50 minutes in, CS doesn't really matter anymore, kills don't really matter anymore, goal lead really doesn't matter anymore, it's just about how well you fight as a team, and CLG, yeah. I mean, we've seen it. They, they have the ability to win these team fights, they just have to engage on their own terms. And did they have the time for Baron? I'm trying to no. figure out after 50-minute game what happened so. there. 
because uh, that was actually taken by CJ Entis completely, well, it was clean. And yeah. They weren't spotted at all. So you just waited back. Um, Froggen might have spotted well, it with his ulti. Laser, yeah. yeah, might have spotted it. Yeah, that's right. The looks laser went in there at the end. So be interesting to see whether CLG will try and fight for this next one because in my opinion, that area around Byron is a prime target for a CLG fight with the ultimates that they've got in there. Uh, with that Zyra ultimate yeah. in, it's a lot more closed in. Obviously, with having Snoopy in there to be able to get in, maybe Yellow Pete will actually land one if they're all stood together in there as well. And I mean, if that happens, well, that's just even more lockdown that they're going to have on their side. The problem that CLG have now is they have to slowly but surely edge their way towards the Baron. Oh, they could just catch them here as the laser goes across. Kinch going very low, but it's not a kill. That's the crucial thing. They need wards down. They need vision here. They've got two oracles, as you do, just in case. I mean, what's Froggen going to spend his money on except uh, a load of elixirs and oracles anyway? They need to get in there, and they need to get this vision sorted out in the top side of their jungle. We can see that Snoopy is in there. And they are getting that vision fixed up. 52 minutes in 11 seconds is when the next Baron comes up. That will be Baron number three as we approach the 51 minute mark of this Group B game at the Intel Extreme Masters in Cologne. Tense, tense stuff. And it's all about who wins the next big fight, basically. We've seen how long those spawn timers are. Yeah, and just to bring it back up again, I mean, CLG is fighting for, for their tournament. If they lose this game, they will be out. If CJ Entis wins it, they will automatically move on to the, uh, the semifinals. So both teams really want to win this. Death timer is extremely long, just like you were mentioning. And look at the total gold accumulated per, per player. We see Frog at almost 19,000 gold in this game. He's going to break that 20 mark very shortly. And that is just, I mean, you don't even need CLG. You don't need farm anymore on him. You just want to give it to everyone else. And Wicked, I mean, he still has two slots open, if, unless he wants to get rid of a... Uh, let's keep one open for the wards. We see Froggen, he's just not doing the damage he needs to anymore. We saw him catch uh, Nunu there. Wasn't even able to burst him down from full to uh, death. Took him down to about a third life, but still a third life is not a kill. And that's what they need Froggen to do. They need him to burst someone down so quickly that CJ just has to retreat. 30 seconds for Baron. Twisted Fate is in the bottom lane. Zyra and Malphite are going to come in to join CLG. I think they know that they need to be taking this fight now around that Baron area. And if they can't get Baron, they need to get away with their lives intact. They can't afford to be dying on oh. mass in this Baron area. And now Twisted Fate continuing to push up. Baron is going to spawn in a couple of seconds time. CLG starts to walk in. Trap walked into there by Crepo. You can see Twisted Fate on the minimap is working his way up. Will CLG go for Baron right now? Yes, they will. They're going to start it off. This is going to be it. This could be the final fight of this game. Let's get along to the Baron's HP. We can see he's down to half already. Where is the move going to come out? Here comes the Twisted Fate ultimate. Going to be popped, but is he going to join the team? He has to get up there at least, even if he doesn't jump in towards a fight. And that Baron is now down to 3,000 HP. Where is it going to go? 1,800 health left on it. There we go. Oh, and Zed steals away the Baron. But the Baron's ultimate has gone down onto Long Panda. They're a little bit spread out here, CLG. They need to get the ultis off in the right positions. There's the first kill. Dade does go down. Oh, Kikinch is low. The laser misses out of Froggen, but they pop. Long Panda's GA. Here is Crepo in the back. He's gonna fall to Zed. That's a double kill for him, but they're not done here, CLG. Are they gonna push forward? They're probably gonna go straight towards that inhibitor. I mean, why not? They've gotta come all the way back. They've got two men down to two. And again, we see that CLG, even without the Baron on in that fight, still managed to come out of it nicely. Yellow Pete had full HP. Froggen was pretty healthy. If that laser had have hit from Froggen, that could have been a different fight altogether. One thing that they can't afford to do here is overextend. It is a two versus three. Oh, no. oh and Space is actually gonna land the shot onto uh, Yellow Pete. Can they chase up for him? Will they want to chase up for him right now? Doesn't look like it. And we will see CLG back off once again. My lord. <laughs> What's the longest game you've casted, Joe? 72 minutes or something? Yep. And guess what? It was a CLG game. <laughs> Who would have thought? Maybe we'll break it today. But yeah, I mean, there really isn't much more to say. CLG is holding on to their, uh, um, these team fights very well. Their combination of CC is working perfectly. It's just these GAs are really giving them a, a problem. Dade, uh, Dade didn't even get to pop his... Actually, no, he did pop his zonies in that yeah, fight. Did use it. But didn't matter in the end as they did blow up immediately. The thing is, you see the target you really want to blow up right away? He doesn't seem to be doing too much damage in these team fights. I mean, you have a lot of magic assists built up uh, currently for CLG. They want to maybe burst down Caitlyn. However, the GA, I mean, these fights are, are so long that CLG is going to be out of CC by the time they actually finally pick up these kills. That's true. 
I mean, because like, they're counting on it. They're counting to kill them in all of their CC. And with these GAs, it's impossible to do that. As long as CJ inches just holds on, is tanky enough to last or to last that, then they should be able to win these fights. But we do have the auto inhibitor did go down while they're fighting at Baron. So CJ is going to have that pressure on them again. And Wicked has another blasting wand, 600 gold, finally working up towards his last item. I believe it will be a Rylize. And even Snoopy picking up an Abyssal Scepter just for some extra damage. Yeah, why not? I mean, they need all the damage that they can get. They need to get those GAs down as quickly as they possibly can. CJ, they're in a similar position, you know. There are, there are two GAs in there. There are three Zonya's Hourglass. So it's like everyone's got some sort of survivability in that case in the game. So uh, a really insane position to be in now. I thought that was going to be the last fight. I was wrong, <laughs> and I am really happy that I was wrong about that one. I'm happy that we're going to see at least one more uh, coming into this one, because so far, 55 and a half minutes into the game, absolutely fantastic matchup. 15-15 in kills. No one cares about gold anymore. Uh, the turret 7-5 to five in favor of CJ Entis. That could be one thing that can really help them out to win this game, forcing them to, uh, you know, deal with those super minions if we ever get down to them uh, pushing in for another inhibitor again here we go then cj looking to siege down that turret they will take it out as well and not a lot that c uh, that clg could do about that one are they going to be able to defend this inhibitor will they want to defend this inhibitor <laughs> the baron buff is pretty much run out now next baron spawns 59 43 It'll be a good celebration when we hit the hour uh, the hour mark and uh, Joe, you can see on the screen CLG right now. I mean, they look still so focused. And the thing is, you've if you're got gonna... to be. I mean, yeah, if, if approaching an hour game, um, how do you stay focused when you know that that tiniest little mistake mm -hmm. can mean winning or losing? And in CLG's case, having a chance to move on or going home without winning anything. That's the real thing that you've got to think about in this game. The stamina that these players need to keep that concentration up, to keep playing at the same level, to keep communicating as well as they should. Not to make mistakes, which you inevitably do when you start to get tired, when you start to lose your focus. And that's something that neither team here can afford to do in the run-up to this uh, next Baron coming up, which is almost three minutes from this position. I was mentioning uh, CLG, I mean, because they, be honest, they look so focused, but I actually saw a lot of fatigue currently for CJ Entis. Probably not used to these long, drawn-out games, but that's the thing. If you're going to play CLG, you got to be prepared for it. And this is, this is CLG's territory. They do this time and time again, and they have the ability to keep that stamina up. And we will see, actually, a uh, GA picked up on Dade right there. That is the well, seven, or sixth of the game. Yeah, Zonya's and a GA. You just can't kill him. He's going to pop his Zonya's and have his GA right after that. But they are still trying to keep his lanes shoved in. So you're doing a good job of keeping the lanes, uh, well, inhibitor up in the mid. And the bot one's still down just for a little bit longer. And Joe, I really don't know how this next team fight's going to go. It really is anyone's game. It really just depends, yeah, who gets in there and, and just lands everything. Oh, I mean, Snoopy just taking a bit of damage. They actually dodged the wild cards in the end. Zyra taking a bit of damage here from Zed. Crepo actually falling a little bit lower than CLG would have wanted there. That's going to mean the inhibitor is picked up. But here comes the laser. There was the virus ultimate in there. Going to go down. Snoopy actually already has used his ultimate here. That's a killer piece up until now. Insect going to be going low. They will manage to pick off Snoopy. Twisted Fate actually did pop his ultimate in there as well. We've got Jax on the top side. Here comes Twisted Fate. Going to flash in. That will be the GA of Frog and Pot. Are they going to be able to hold him down? Yes, they will double kill for Caitlyn. Wicked is now the last man left alive. Uses his GA here underneath. Uh, sorry, he's on his underneath the towers. But that will be the ace for CJ Enters. They're tanking the turrets up, but it won't matter. They're going to take him down. They'll take the Nexus, and they will not CLG EU here out of Intel Extreme Masters Cologne. A 58-minute, 40-second game. A brilliant, brilliant matchup, Jason.